Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and what you're looking at are two very soft and cuddly kitties fighting over high energy costs. And there's only one solution to this problem, and that is to implement solar energy so that we can bring peace upon the household from which they dwell. And what you're looking at here are some solar panels that uh, will be installed upon the roof of the dwelling from which the kitties dwell and they are made up of silicone and silver and silver essentially is a conduit that transfers the energy from the sun that the silicon collects and transfers it to the inverter um, from which it will uh, turn into power that can operate any device electrical device within the home including the heat pump and heating and cooling hot water and the like everything is powered by these solar panels very very interesting and fascinating that this technology has now become viable the cost to install these have come down almost in half from 2009 to 2015 and uh, essentially these were installed by a contractor as I do not have the mechanical and electrical prowess like, that someone like uh, Massachusetts Prepper has. And check out his channel for his wind and solar solutions as we uh, gaze upon the process videoed for you showing the installation of these panels on the roof here. And I'll explain how I was able to do this and what, uh, how I um, essentially came to this decision to have these installed. Number one was the drop in the prices of installing solar, solar panels. The installation costs have come down dramatically. And number two was an idea that is derived from something, uh, a program called Solar City. And there are other uh, variants of it as well, where essentially it's a public-private partnership where the end user essentially pays nothing for the solar panels, but um, except for an, uh, a hookup fee, and the partnership or the um, cooperation essentially charges you monthly for these panels in perpetuity, but yet your energy costs still go down. So it's only, it, there's really no equity in that. So I decided, well, you know what? It's not available in my state anyway. However, I would like to take advantage of solar so I um, uh, worked out a deal with the bank to finance, uh, refinance my home, and include extra money for these solar panels. And uh, so that way I was able to spread it out a number of years that for each month, my average monthly electrical bill is essentially covered in the mortgage. And uh, assuming that I'm able to save monthly on my electric bill with these panels and so far, several months into this, I am able to do so. So it, it worked out quite well, and uh, there is some, obviously some buffer for the winter months when it may not have as much sunlight uh, and the like, but uh, it worked out really well. And uh, there's also a 30% tax credit that expires at the end of 2016. Here we see a um, the monitoring program on the inverter that shows you uh, the status of the system in place here very very nice to scroll through different screens here and see the energy as it's collected and this machine is uh, relatively quiet but it does make some noise but it's in a portion of the abode that uh, you don't hear that sound so it's very nice and uh, so far it's been very efficient and very um, beneficial to the household from day one very 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 nice uh, and fascinating indeed so this this whole project um, uh, essentially with all being said and done with the money expended is a zero net sum gain zero net sum loss and but every month that I pay on the mortgage it's equity not only towards the house but also towards the solar panels once they're paid off it's pure uh, uh, benefit profit and here we have the program that you can monitor on a website and also on a, uh, on a portable mobile device such as you see here. So it's very nice. You can kind of see the activity in the solar panel usage each day or month or year. So it's very, very nice uh, to be able to monitor that and see how it's going. 
and uh, there was one one time when I had to have this this uh, system um, rebooted or recalibrated because it had frozen up because it needed a firmware update, but nonetheless it worked out well. And uh, another aspect of this monitoring program is you can actually check the health of each individual solar panel, and there is also a way uh, on the on the on a desktop application to actually model the the usage throughout a day, a uh, week, or a year. Very nice. The system meets all of the power needs of the home, including heating, cooling, and any device plugged into a wall outlet, which is very nice. But uh, there are two ways that you can install the system, and that is one is off-grid, and the other one is grid-tied. I had to choose grid-tied because I don't have a battery backup or a way to store energy at the moment, uh, as the cost is, was cost-prohibitive, so that if the power does go out, even if I have credits with the power company, I will lose power along with my neighbors. So the next step would be to get some sort of battery backup at the very least, and at the very most to be able to be energy, uh, completely energy independent. But regardless, the financial uh, uh, benefits are grand, and uh, the lifespan of the solar panels is, other, is another interesting thing. They reach maximum deficiency at uh, 25 years, which means that they will uh, hold about 80% of their efficiency in that within 25 years but the interesting aspect is after that 25 years they hold that 80 percent efficiency uh, for quite a while um, some have been tested at over 50 plus years with that aspect so there you go i hope you enjoyed the information in this video i'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and I encourage you to please rate comment and subscribe